Today we're going to be talking about Moonday. It's a Discord bot and this is going to be a very basic um, beginner's guide that I wish I had when I started playing. And uh, if you guys have any questions about the you know, content in the video, you can post in the comment section on YouTube. If you want to see more detailed explanations of something, go ahead and post. Otherwise, it's going to be, again, a very basic overview. So to start off with, the very first command you'll probably want to do is uh, money sign TU. And this will show you uh, your whole character stat. So it says like you can't you if you can claim or not, how many rolls you have, when your next roll reset is, and then it will say something. You can react to Kakura now for seven and tells you your power, your Kakura amount, and then a bunch of other stuff down here. I'm gonna get in detail of each one of these specifically. So we're gonna first start with daily. Now, if you do money sign daily. It will give you one roll reset that you can use at any time throughout the, the, the reset. So let's say I use all my rolls and I want more. I can use money sign daily and then money sign rolls to reset them without having to wait this, this 13 minutes here. If I really wanted the rolls right now, I could use, um, I, I did a vote here, so I have one roll reset, so I could do it. Now, um, these actually stack up. This is something I did not know when I started playing. You can do money sign daily and not use it, and it, it just stays there. Now there is one limitation to this, is you can only use one of them per hour. So let's say I had 50 of them stored up. I could not use 50 of them in a row to get a character I wanted. I could only use one per hour. Now, vote does the same thing. Vote and daily both give you a roll reset. Vote, you just go to the uh, link it sends you to, and then you vote and you get one roll reset. So if I do money sign vote now, it will say I have one roll reset. Because I just I just voted. Now, the best time to use these, in my opinion, is right when your server resets. That's, that's just my opinion, because all the characters are back and you have a bunch of them in the pool to roll. Now, moving on from that, we're going to go right into our um, our wish list. Now, we have something called a wish list and a like list. In order to unlock the daily, you need to like five characters. So all you do is like, and then you type in a character's name that you want to like. So I'll do like another one, and then it will react with a check mark if it, if it uh, understood your character that you wanted to like. Now, all this does is this changes the value of the character based on like rating. So each character has a Kakra value. If I go to MMIR, this is by, here is like rating and here is a claim rating. So as you can see, this one is like rating 23, but Rin is like rating 42. And the like rate and claim rate change the Kakra value of the unit or of the character. I'm used to saying unit from other games I play. So wishlist uh, allows you to Whenever you roll the character, it'll send you a DM in the chat. It'll ping you and you can claim it. And it will be, um, later on you can upgrade the chance of your wish list rolling. And also when you claim a wish, you get extra Kakara. Now Kakara is the currency of this game mode. It is used for many, many things, which we will talk about at the end of the video. The next thing I would like to talk about is that there is something called a disable list. If you do money sign disable and then you type a series or a bundle. So like, let's say you don't want hentai, you can type money sign hentai, enter, and it will disable them. Now your disable list, uh, when you first start playing, I believe you get uh, 20,000 characters you can disable of overlap, not characters you can disable, specifically overlap. So what that means is if I disable etchy and I disable hentai, there, there's going to be some overlap in there. And so if there's a character in Etchi and a character in Hentai, and I disable both, that character is now overlapped because it's in both categories. So you can actually go up to, you can disable up to 20,000 overlap. So my current disable list has 19,000 disabled in WA, and if I change to my men one, it's 19,500 disabled. Now, there are ways to upgrade this disable list, which I will, you know, if you guys want to know about that, go ahead and post in the comment and I'll talk about that later. This is, again, just a very general guide. Now, um, 
The first thing that I always do when I start in a, in a server, I always do money sign TW. That stands for toggle Western. If you do not want Western anime characters to show up and when you roll, this is really good because it doesn't go in your disable list, but it turns them all off for you. It doesn't count as the overlap at the beginning. It doesn't take up a disable list slot. So you could do money sign TW to turn off Western. Now the same thing is true if you type in toggle IRL. Toggle IRL does the same thing. It makes it to where you can't get real life characters. So there are some characters you can pull that are actually like real life characters. Like uh, some basketball players and stuff like that. Okay, so if you want to turn those off, you just do that command, that's it. Now, the types of roles that we do have in this bot are money sign or slash sign, WA. WA is for uh, random anime and manga waifu. There is uh, WH or HA, which is husbando or men anime uh, manga. Then there are also the WG and HG, respectively for game girls and game men. And so whichever characters you're trying to go for is the one you should be rolling for. Now, each disable list will be different. If I'm going for um, men, I have a disable list that turns off a bunch of men. So that way I have a higher chance of rolling it. Okay, those are the type of roles. Now, the difference between money sign WA and slash WA, slash WA gives you a 10% bonus to pull your wish list characters if you do money sign WA. Also, it allows you to have a longer time to claim. Let's say your claim window was 45 seconds. If you use WA, it extends that time by I think one minute or it doubles the time, either it doubles or one minute. But the thing is you have a lot longer to claim it. So you can roll a bunch of characters. What I normally do is I do is money sign WA. And then if I find a character I might want, or that I, I want, but if I roll a better character, I don't want it. I switch over to money sign WA because the slash command, you can only use two of them per five seconds. So you can spam the money sign one a lot faster. Now, how to claim? All you do is right click on a character and add an emoji if you're on the Discord um, app. If you're not, you click the little add reaction button and you react to something. Now, when you roll a wish list character, your wish, your wish character will always have a heart underneath it that you could just keep your mouse right here and click on the heart really quickly when it comes up. Okay. Next one, uh, we're gonna go over Kakra usages. So Kakra usages are used for, first of all, you could trade it with someone. Let's say someone pulls your character you want and you really want that character. So you can offer to give them a bunch of Kakra for the character, or you can offer to trade the character for another character. Uh, the other th three things you can use Kakara for, there's three more. You can use them for badges, Kakara Tower, and Kakara Loot. Now, the order I said them in are the order you should buy them in. You should get your badges first, then Kakara Tower, then you destroy your tower to buy Kakara Loot. Now, since this is a beginning guide, it's just I'm just going to be talking about badges here. So badges give you a little buff, and you can check them by typing money sign uh, K. And it will tell you at the bottom down here, it says here, I have all the badges maxed out. Now, if you, if you aren't maxed out, it will tell you if you buy this level, you will get this. And if you do money sign Kaka reward, it will tell you what the, high, what the fourth level gives you. Okay. So I'll just go over the fourth level really quickly for you. So bronze gives you 500 Kakara if you claim a wished character on your list. Silver, if someone else claims your wish character, you get 200 Kakara. Gold, when you use uh, money sign DK, which I'm gonna talk about right after this, it resets all of your Kakara reaction power. Okay, Sapphire makes it to where all your blue Kakara reacts are yellow. Ruby makes it to where all your badges are 25% cheaper. And Emerald makes it to where when you claim a character, you get that value. So if I claim a character that's worth 500, I get 500 right away. I don't have to sell it. I get it right away. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the reacts now. So if I type if I type this, you will see a little crystal at the bottom here. This one was purple. So purple is actually free. So anytime you see a purple, you should click on it. Now each time you use a uh, after each time you react, you lose some power, and it depends on what you have currently 
um, badge wise because gold actually reduces the amount. Okay. So every time that you react, so let's see if I can find one that I want. I'm looking for a, okay, I don't want the yellow. So when you are starting out, you wanna be very picky with your reacts because you have only one react. It'll use 100% of your power. For me, it uses, I believe, 34% right now. Okay. All right, so that now that's done. The uh, Kakarot reactions are, you should be, again, aiming for something like, uh, I would probably, if I was on a new server, look for green or better, since you can only react once every five hours. Now, it might be hard because, again, not a lot of people would roll. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the tower really quickly. So the tower just gives you little buffs that you can check in KT that each time you build a floor, it's 5,000 more. Okay. 5,000 more. So first floor is 5,000, second floor is 10, then 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Now let's go over quickly DK. So I told you DK was in gold. When you use DK, you got all your power back. So since my gold is max, if I use DK, I'll get all of my power back. DK is a daily command. It stands for daily Kakara, and it just gives you some Kakara that you can use every day. Again, you can check that in TU. So if you guys have any more questions about this bot or anything in general that I talked about, go ahead and post it in the bottom. If it is asking about more detailed instructions about badges, what order to go to badges, stuff like that, uh, go ahead and post it in the bottom and I might make another video explaining it. This is just going to be an intro video to see if people are actually interested in this type of content. So again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.